Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make crispy roasted butternut squash and I will also be showing you how to cut and peel the whole butternut squash too. I love roasting it because it's kind of meal prepping for me and I use them for salads or I turn them into a delicious soup during the week and yeah. We are going to make this crisp roasted butternut squash right in a second but before go and subscribe to my channel if you still not and make sure that you hit the bell button so you will know that I post a new video every single time. So if you are ready let's start. First we are going to start cutting from the bottom of the squash is to have to keep it steady on the board as you gently work on your line. Be sure that you are using your sharpest knife and you'll see that even with a sharp knife it will be hard. So I draw a line from the bottom and stick my knife onto it. Then I rotate the squash. I will use this method on all parts of the butternut squash. Then we are going to cut it into half from the middle. Next, we are going to peel the skin with the help of a peeler. I don't suggest that you use a knife instead of a peeler because it's so much harder, believe me. You will see that it's so easy with a peeler. Honestly, it's the easiest part of getting ready a butternut squash for roasting. I believe investing a good knife and a peeler is one of the success keys in the kitchen. I will leave some of my suggestions into the description box. So now we are going to cut these pieces into four pieces. The most important thing is to cut every piece almost in the same size. You will see that the bottom part has seeds inside. Don't worry, removing them is so easy. Simply use a metal tablespoon and carve them. By the way, you can roast these seeds too. Now I will cut them into small cubes, but it depends on your choice. Cut them whatever shape you want. Okay, it's time for roasting these babies. Put a baking sheet onto your baking tray and place all the butternut squash evenly. Next, sprinkle some salt. Then I'll add some vegetable oil. I put oil by measuring with a spoon every time because sometimes I feel like I use too much oil by sprinkle it. And as the last touch I will add some black pepper. But not too much. You can also add more spices like cayenne or cinnamon because I will use them for various meals. I'm keeping things simple in this phase. Mix everything and they are good to go into the preheated oven. They will stay at 220 degrees for 50 minutes. And they are ready. I made these at lunchtime, that's why I'm so hungry right now and I cannot wait to add them into my salad. So I directly put them into a serving plate. And yeah, they are so crispy and I believe a good healthy alternative for french fries too. Previously I made celery fries on my youtube channel and it's one of my most popular videos. So if you like this idea of finding healthy alternatives, I strongly recommend that you go and watch that video too. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you like this recipe, you should also watch my other quick and easy recipe ideas. I post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see all the latest videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you like this recipe. See you next time. Bye!